there's a man in the Bible, and they say he was the wisest man who ever lived. And uh, I've heard some theories as to why. God gave him wisdom. That's the real reason. One idea was that he had a thousand wives, and if every wife told him one idea every day, <laughs> you know the problem he did. It's a lot of ideas. But that's just a, that was actually not the wisest thing he ever did. He did make a decision one time. Two women came forward. Uh, the women lived together, and one of them had rolled over in her sleep, and her baby had died. And that's a terrible story, but it gets worse. Um, and so she stole the baby of the other mother. And the king had to figure out who's telling the truth. So he said, bring a sword. In this story, I told him it was getting bad. And uh, he said, all right, cut the baby in half and give half, yeah, thank you, that's the right response, and give half to one mom and give half the other half to the other mom. And one lady said, that'll be just fine. And the other lady said, oh, no, 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 don't do that. We love, I love that child. Give the child to the other lady. Let her be the mom, let her raise it. And the king said, I don't think I was gonna ever cut a baby in half anyway. I'm not evil, that's awful. He says, the woman who wanted the baby's life to be alive, she's the real mom. Give her the child and let her be the mom. Why would that story be in the Bible? I've wondered that. It's in other wisdom literature, too. Sometimes it's attributed to other, other wise men who live. Because I don't think the story really is really about the king and how wise he is. Maybe, it, maybe that's part of it. I think the story is probably in the Bible because moms, you, you two are really blessed with a great mom and a great grandma. Moms love their children so much that they will do anything for them, sacrifice for them, give things up for them. And the idea that our, uh, we can learn from our moms what it means to give things up. Who else gives things up for us? Yeah, God. What did God give up for us? He gave up his own son. God sent his own son for us and allowed him to die on a cross for us. So I, I think part, part of the reason that story is in the Bible, as, as troubling as it is, there's a lot of really scary, weird stories in the Bible. I think one of the reasons that story is in the Bible is because God lets us learn about love from our moms and our dads when they show us God's love for us. And that's a good thing. It's a good thing to have uh, parents that love us so much that they will give up things for our good. Because God, who created us, gave up everything for our good, too. So let's pray together. Lord, there's some stories in the Bible that we really like. And they're just really fun. There's a, but there's some stories in the Bible that are hard to hear. And they seem so, so mean and so awful. And yet, one thing that we see throughout the Bible, whether the story is a good, happy one, or one that bothers us, is that you continue to love us sacrificially. You give things, you give up that which is yours for us. So help us to show gratitude to our parents who you've given us to love us, but help us also to grow in our understanding that you love us so much that you gave us everything.